Hello chess lovers, Zoran here and in this video we are going to analyze a very exciting game played just yesterday at 2023 Swedish Elite Serene. The Swedish Elite Serene is Sweden's top league where 10 teams are competing. It's the Swedish Team Chess Championship. Uh, this is a game played between two Swedish chess grandmasters. Erik Blomqvist is playing against Hans Tikkanen. Blomqvist opened up with e4 to which Tikkanen answered with c6. Karokan defense is on the board and white is going for two knights attack. Bishop g4 h3. An exchange on f3 followed. e6. Bishop e2. Bishop c5. Other popular alternatives are knight f6 or knight d7 in the game with bishop c5. White castled kingside. Knight d7. E takes d5, e takes d5, rook e1, knight e7, knight a4, bishop goes back, and with d4 white is opening up the dark squared bishop's diagonal. Queen goes to a5, knight retreats, and knight f8, which is a dubious move, better was castling kingside. But instead we have knight f8, and you know what's the problem with this move? Well, already... That stepped into a marvelous bishop h6 move. White is emphasizing the weakness of the 6th rank, a similar idea we have seen many times where both black and white are exploiting f6 or f3 squares. In case of g takes h6, queen f6 can follow, after which white will win back the sacrificed piece and will leave opponent with a shattered pawn structure. That's why black played rook g8 and the bishop just retreated and now yeah, th that's a question where is black going to castle. Castling queenside can be extremely dangerous. Something which we will see in this game. g6, knight a4, queen c7, knight c5 and now gradually white is starting to make a progress and corner his opponent. Then came c4, knight e6. Bishop f3 and black castled queenside. Having not many alternatives, black went for this, but this is of course dangerous. Rook a c1, now white will start building pressure down the c file. D takes c4, queen takes c4. According to Stockfish batteries, rook takes c4 and then rook c1, putting further pressure on c6. But instead, we have queen takes c4. And now, for example, d5 can be a threat, or in case of king b7, before b5. But the thing is that this queen c4 is allowing black to go for knight takes d4. But again, this is something which favors white. So this is a very wild game. Queen takes d4, bishop h2 check, king takes h2, and the queen drops. But the knight on e7 also dropped. Queen d6 check, and now we have a fork, bishop f4. Uh, of course, if you play queen takes f4, at the same time fork this rook and king as well, then just g3, and if queen takes c1, then you can get checkmated. So that's why this beautiful, after this beautiful bishop f f4 move, black hearted to win black rook, but there came rook takes c6 check, king d7, rook c7 check, King e8, so a very deep calculation was needed to uh, enter these lines, right? And it was black who actually entered these lines with knight takes d4. Let me tell you that king e8 is a terrible blunder and is losing on the spot. So here white announced a check from c6, and after rook d7 played knight b8, queen b4 was made and black resigned. White can now move the bishop back on g3 or put on e5, then win this rook and victory is just a matter of technique. What is interesting in here, there is a move which allows black to survive and that move is king e6. Uh, of course, uh, still white's position is preferable. Black has to struggle to uh, for a draw, but all in all, yeah, the fight goes on. Instead, after rook c7, check with king e8, check, and yeah, it's over. A very, very interesting game, I think. That bishop h6 was very beautiful. 
uh, as well as this bishop f4, yeah, bishop f4, the dark squared bishop made really nice moves in this game, and then relying on opponent's mistake, white won the game. Hope that you enjoyed the game, it was really an interesting one. Uh, feel free to share it with your friends as well, and also let us know what do you think about this game. Uh, in the end, the chess puzzle for you, the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.